Hey folks, PP Dave here. Escape from Tarkov Woods. It's big, it's woody, every place kind of looks like every other place, so it's kind of easy to get lost, especially for a beginner. So here are some of the best beginner-friendly landmarks that you can use in Escape from Tarkov, and let's just get right into it. First off, Sawmill. Sawmill, real easy. It's right in the middle of the map, adjacent to the lake, and since the mill is north of the lake, it makes for a great compass. Then we got the lake. The lake along with the mill is hard to miss. Following the shoreline with the lake to your left will eventually get you to two of the scav extraction points. You got the boat, and dead man's place. If you follow the shoreline with the lake on your right hand side, you'll eventually get to the dual purpose RUAF roadblock extraction point, as well as a long, long road that leads directly to the factory gate and the UN roadblock extraction point. And then we've got the Emrecom camp. The, the camp lies on a straight line between the sawmill and the factory gate extraction point that I just mentioned. It's very close to the eastern edge of the lake, really hard to miss. Then we got checkpoint. This road checkpoint location lies about halfway between the western side of the sawmill and the western edge of the entire map. Following the road west and south away from the sawmill will lead you directly to three additional extraction points. You got the ZB-014 bunker, scav house, and to this little pickup truck which marks the outskirts extraction point. Ho oh, ho, then you've got the minefield. The entire western and southwestern border of the map is just one giant minefield. If you find your legs spontaneously exploding, then you'll know that you found it. The good news is that there are signs marking most of the minefield, which leads us to the USAC camp. The USAC camp is near the northwestern corner of the map, backing up to this main minefield that I just mentioned. Now, you do have to be careful because there is also an unmarked minefield that's directly adjacent to the camp. It's really easy to walk into this unmarked minefield when you think you're walking away from the larger marked minefield, so be careful. Scav Bunker. If you see a large radio antenna, then you'll know that you found the Scav Bunker Extraction Point. Like you said, Camp, it's also near the main marked minefield. However, there is not an unmarked minefield, so it's much safer to walk around. Now we have the river. The entire northern edge of the map consists of a river with the scav bridge extraction point on the western end and the bridge car extraction point for PMC players on the eastern end. Directly between the two bridge extraction points is Sunken Village. Some players call it abandoned town, call it whatever you want. And you'll know you found it when you see either this boathouse or this sunken church, hard to miss. The road leading directly away from the PMC Bridge car extraction point cuts right through the village. The northern end of the village is marked by a bus, and the southern end is marked by the road leading upwards towards this semi-truck and the old sawmill. The old sawmill is near the middle of the eastern edge of the map and has a winding road which leads to the northern UN roadblock extraction point. Now we've got the plane crash site. If you're lost and you happen to come across the plane crash site, then you'll know that you're directly east of the main sawmill. The tail of the plane points towards the village that I just mentioned, and the nose points in the general direction of the sawmill. Not exact, but it gives you a really good idea of which way you're pointing. The power lines. There is one set of high tension power lines that cuts through the map running from near the PMC bridge extraction point and towards the general direction of the ZB-014 bunker, scav house, and the outskirts extraction points. Be careful though, because if you follow the power lines directly, you'll walk right into that big minefield that I mentioned early on. And finally, there are three background landmarks to be aware of. You've got the mountain peak, which marks the northeastern edge, there's a flattened mountain, which marks the northwestern edge, and the large cooling towers mark the southern edge of the map. Any one of these landmarks will give you a general idea of where you are and which direction you are pointing. 
That's it for now, folks. Let me know down in the comments below which landmarks you like to use. Hit subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss anything new. I'll see you next time, and uh, always remember to keep on grinding.